Look how we like perfectly. Okay, perfect. All right, you good? I'm slouched. Let's roll. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Big John's TV Taste Test Tuesday. Thanks for tuning in. We are all about food, family, and fun. That's how we roll. There's a stranger at our table. Hi. Manny, <laughs> introduce your friend. This is Teresa. That's Maddie's friend. She spent the night and she's going to join us for a taste test today. Yeah. Have you ever been on a video on a video with us before? Once. I thought so. I thought you were. We'll have to go back and find it and pop it up because it was probably years ago and you were probably only this tall at the table. Not that tall. We weren't even here. Oh. Uh -huh. Where were we? It was Jameson's birthday party. There we go. Okay. Chips again, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a Pocky brand. Yep, that's right. See? Awesome. All right. So... Taste Test Tuesdays, we like to find new, seasonal, trending, limited edition, those kinds of foods. Things that grab our attention while we're grocery shopping and we go, hey, that looks good, let's try it, yeah. right? Yeah. This is a kind, of, kind of a combination of several of those things, because I've never seen these. They don't say new, but I'm certain they are, and they definitely, they look good. That was the biggest thing. These were at Walmart. They were all in an end cap together. Um, they were $3.20 a bag, so we didn't buy any more. I think there was one or two other flavors, but they were like... Kind of more basic. We just got the coolest sounding of them, right? Yeah. So these are Tostitos chips, tortilla chips, with three different flavors. We have hint of guacamole. We got habanero. And spicy queso. Hint of spicy queso. So these are going to be good. I'm expecting them to be a little bit of a heat, a little bit of a kicker, but shouldn't be too bad, right, Jamie? Yeah. Are you awake? <laughs> no. Okay, maybe it'll be nap time when we're done. No. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to do these last for sure. Let's do that after these ones for sure. Let's start with these because I think these are going to be the most mild of the bags, correct? Yeah. So, hint of guacamole Tostitos. We're about to guac your world. They are uh, clearly a green tortilla chip. That's a guac your world. That's pretty good. Corny. <laughs> like, like the tortillas. Children? Yes. Dig in. Now, Jamie, actually, you're not a fan either. Avocados, guacamole, any of those things, right? This one isn't bad. That's really good. It's not bad. Ooh. That's really good. It is just a very good, it's a hint. It really is a hint. Like... Like if you had a great big old tortilla chip and you dipped it in guacamole, but you just put that little tiniest little speck on there. Mm. I'm getting some lime in there still too, are you? Yeah. Yeah. Just a little bit. I would actually, I would guess something lime related first versus guacamole. Mm. Those are really good though. Mm -hmm. Cool color. Nice crunch. Nice bite sized pieces too. That's like perfect for dipping and not having to shove it in your mouth all sideways and Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty simple on that one. I'll do sideways. Why? Guacamole. Just because it's green? No, guacamole. I don't like guacamole. But do you know what guacamole tastes like? Guacamole. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, uh, that bite right there has got some cilantro, which I'm not a fan of either. There's a lot of flavor going on in there. Yeah. I just like guacamole itself, so I already knew that I'd probably like those. That's what I was hoping for, too. All right, now let's jump into the hint of spicy queso. Watch out, nachos. There's a new nacho in town. base in town. I was going to say nacho in town. This is base, right? Mm -hmm. Watch out, nachos. There's a new base in town. I don't, yeah. I don't get my base. Let me see. Face. Taste. I was going to say, like, the creator like a huge, like, baseball thing. I don't know. <laughs> All right, hint of spicy queso, so this should be cheesy. Should be spicy. Shouldn't be too strong. It, it says a hint. Oh, that smells good. Yeah. It should be good to dip in um cheese. Cheese. Oh, yeah. Mm. You can definitely taste the cheese. I don't like that. <laughs> Why not? Spicy. Um, a little bit. Hit me yet. I don't like that all the cheese. You know this, this reminds this reminds me of really good like ballpark nachos. Mm -hmm. 
the, the tortilla chips, the cheese, the little bit of little bit of uh, jalapeno that you kind of get a little bit of the juice on, but you base. the what? That's why it says base. Because you said they remind you of ballpark nachos. That could be. That could very well be. These are delicious. These are absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Spice level? What do you say? Out of one to ten? Um, one to ten. I'd say four. Six. Three. I'll say six. I'm gonna say a one. So let's take all those numbers and we'll average it out to maybe a two. <laughs> um, you know, they, 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 it really is a hint of that spice yeah. um, for me. I don't, I don't know about a six, but I think these are quite tasty. Okay, I'll change it. A three. You can, you can get whatever score you want, son. Six thousand. Six thousand. Yeah, this one <laughs> probably should say hint, but it doesn't. This is, let's see, settle in. Things are about to get spicy oh, with the habanero. I'm only going to eat a tiny bit. Now, you have recently discovered your love for mango habanero chicken wings. So, you're okay with the spice level. The only thing that these ones won't have that the wings would have had would, is a sweet element to them. Yeah. So. I only eat like the habanero. Tostitos on heating things up. Dip Tostitos habanero flavored chips into Tostino salsa. The heat is on. We didn't grab any salsa, but. Um, oh, shut up. We, we bought plenty yesterday. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when when you take a chip, be careful as to not rub your face or your eyeballs. That would burn. That would not be a good idea. It singes the nose hairs. It singes the nostrils. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go, if you're gonna do it, you might as well do it right. Uh, I don't like it. Oh, not that spicy. Hmm? It's not, not that spicy. To me, it's not spicy, it's just a weird taste. Uh-huh, hold on. Combine those all together, Dad. Oh, you should. So one of those. That's probably the best idea you've had all day. Reminds me of like a stoplight. Red, yellow, red. Up, oh, green, yellow, red. Huh? It is very festive looking. <laughs> See that? Yeah. <clears throat> Bingo. What? That's so good. What does it taste like? It tastes cool. like chips. With nacho cheese and guacamole that you then dipped a little bit of spicy salsa on. A full nacho bowl. Yep. Wow. <clears throat> now, I'm not getting the fruitiness that I normally... Well, no, there's there's a little bit of fruitiness in there with the habanero. But not a lot. It's only like slightly spicy. Spice level 1 to 10 on these. I'd say 5. 2. Mm -hmm. two. The aftertaste wow. is more spicy. By the time you chew and swallow and you get that breath, it might touch a two I'm or three two. for me. I'm maybe. If I ate a whole bunch of those, I'd probably it'd probably bounce up to a four or five. Um, as it is, it lingers a little bit too. That's a, that's a good solid three in my book. A good solid, clean, tasty three. For me, good solid. That's a fantastic mm -hmm. one as well. So how would you rank these in order of the ones you loved? If you like if you're only gonna buy one flavor, which would you buy first? The guacamole. Guacamole. Okay. And then second? Uh, that one. In order. Okay. I would agree. Uh, you know what? I would actually do it like this. But realistically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But realistically. And then throwing them all in the same bowl together. Yeah, that'd be delicious. That's I would do green for um, St. Patrick's Day. This for, I don't know, day. Christmas. <laughs> and I can do green. Summer. A summer snack. There you go. You're, you're touching all the food, the food groups in this one now. Yeah. They're really good. Those are good. A comment down below if you've seen these at Walmart, guys. Um, Have you had them? Yeah, if you've had them, if your thoughts are on them. I, like I said, I don't know if these are truly a new item or not. It really doesn't say it. But I've never seen them, at least, packaged and labeled like this. That grabbed my attention. And they were on the end cap, so... That, that that tells me that there's something special about them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. But solid thumbs up for me all across the board. These are delicious. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're really good. Okay. You could like, subscribe, share with your friends. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. We're on all the social medias. Come hang out with us. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. That's the, that's the review for you. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye.